Hey love folks, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support that you're giving me each and every day, as well as yourself and sending, you know, love and energy and basically confirming that the things that I'm talking about, you're actually going through with me as well. So with all that being said, much love to all. Namaste. Stay love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely yet to come. And if you have been watching my videos for a while already, please, um, if you haven't already, like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you have um, you're comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, where you're just up telling about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video is just really informative to you or just gives you good vibes you would love to share with a fellow empath or loved one or a friend please go ahead and do so and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you once again for stopping by the channel and showing me so much love it is greatly appreciated and i hope you are able to resonate with the content of my video and today i, I know i just used this meditation the other day but i really like it um, it's called uh, 432 Hertz Secret Cosmic Garden Raise Positive Energy Vibrations and Beautiful Mallet uh, Meditation Music and I will post that link in the description box below and today uh, my video is about Twin Flame 101 hey Okas we have to be placed in chaos to get the bigger picture we do and it's just a lot of times I noticed that you know well shoot all of us have been, you know, when we go through these spiritual awakenings, we, we've we gone through so much. And it's just like we have to be placed in the most craziest situation for us to be able to know our true selves, for us to be able to learn, you know. Because it's like when, <clears throat> when you go through things and you're trying to understand why am I going through this? Why am I feeling this way? Why are certain things like this happening? And then we, when we go through all these different things what we're going through that can really shake our world up, you know, going through divorce, losing family members, uh, loved ones, um, going through divorces, losing jobs, being homeless, you know, it's all these crazy things crazy things you're going through having people come at you all kind of crazy and then you're under, trying to understand why are you going through this and it's just like you know with my current situation it I mean but it's like when I look at my situation I can also say you know what yeah I was mad because these and this this and this happened you know you know this that and the third and I can really say, you know what, it's brought me so many blessings because if I wouldn't have went through this crazy situation, if I wasn't placed in the middle of chaos between being separated from, you know, the family that I always knew and, you know, for me to look at them and say, you know what, I don't wish anything on these people, but they're like strangers to me because you can look at the, you know, the things when you're going through a situation, especially if it's like loved ones or friends, they're, they become strangers to you. You're like, you're not the person I, you know, I knew for all these years. What happened to the person I knew? But universe, God, whoever tends to put spotlights on things where we need to separate ourselves from. We need to part the ways. We're going towards the road and all of a sudden it starts to be parted. And you got to find out which way are you going, left or all right. And it's just like, you know, we've been going through so many hard things, especially what is being activated. Oh, my God. You know, it, it's just like when y'all even leave me, com you know, comments, y'all like, Rosalind, I've been through this. Rosalind, I've been through that. But we have to go through this chaotic stuff. We have to be placed in chaotic situations just to be tested on our strength. What do we know? Did we learn the lessons that we had to learn from the people that we're losing um the things that we parted with you know we we end up losing jobs you know knowing you needed your job but you wouldn't have left that job you would have still been complaining about the same job if you didn't want to be at it if something simple didn't happen because it's just like i'll be hearing about you know uh people losing their jobs and stuff like that and i said so what happened and it'll be something so simple and i said you know what that was right never like what you know and i said the universe had to shake up your stuff because if not i said first thing i asked people were you happy at your job you know because if you were happy you would still have that job but if you didn't you know if you had issues with people it just seems like with us being empath 
we bump heads with a lot of folks. You know, either it's just like they'll come up to you and you're trying to mind your own business and all of a sudden they start telling you your life story like, why are they doing this? Why are they telling me about their business? Like, I got my own stuff to be worried about, but yet people tend to get, you know, they tend to, we end up being people's therapists because they want to tell us our whole life story. Me, I love when y'all share with me. But it's just like funny when y'all sit up here telling me like, Rosalind, this is getting on my nerves. And Rosalind, I don't understand why people be coming up to me and just start telling me everything. I said, because you're an empath. They feel like they can trust you. You know, and it was just like, oh, wow, I never thought of it that way. And it's just like the more crazier our situations go, the more y'all go looking for investigating things. You know, especially with us being hey because we take the hard road for everything. We do everything ass backwards. Instead of just letting it go and let bygones be bygones, we try to find this, that, and the third. Trying to understand why did this happen? Why did that happen? And it's like you tend to know yourself a lot better than you ever knew. So it's just like knowing... There's a reason for everything that you're going through. Maybe you might not see the, the bigger picture right now, but it just takes a minute, you know, when you're not in your feelings. And I know something going on because this daggone light keep, <laughs> keeps flashing on my computer. And it's just like, it keeps keep getting light and dark, light and dark. And I know it's not from the, you know, from the light over here because it's coming from straight this way. But it's just really crazy. We can go through things and it's just like, okay aha moment you always have that aha moment because it's like our when you are always praying for like let me allow me to have patience for something okay next thing you know you got to be careful what the heck you pray for because when you start asking for faith all of a sudden you start getting put in predicaments the world will test your faith when you ask for patience all of a sudden you start getting situations to tell you oh god i'm ready to go right now i trust me believe me i pray for that all the time and i say i stop doing that because every time i do that something happens i'm like you know what god i'm trying not to bust somebody head open orange is not the new black for me i'm not trying to go to jail i'm not trying to cut somebody out because i'm that type of person you only can come at me sideways one time and it's just like it'll be a back and forth thing because I always got to feel like I got to have the last word. It's just always been me. Like with my dad, it's funny because my dad will just look at you and I'm already like, I already know what that means. I can hear what he's saying in his mind. Like he cussing you out in his mind, but he just ain't saying nothing to you. He'll just look at you. And it's just like me, I'm totally opposite. I'm going to tell you how I feel. I just don't care. I just try to be you know, I, I'm careful about how I put my messages out. But if you come at me the wrong way, oh, I don't care. You know, after that, all bets are off. Gloves are coming off. But it's just, you know, lately when things tend to happen that way, now it's like I don't allow things to keep bugging me like it was before. Because before, you only could say something to me wrong one time. And I'm like, blah, 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 blah. now I'm just like. Okay, I'm going to let you have this one. But if you keep coming at me like that, then you're going to get it. You know, and it's just like it's been cooled out because there's certain things you will be placed in just to basically test you to see if you're going to go the same route you did before or are you going to take the more, more positive approach about certain things. So it's like when you ask for faith, your faith will be tested. You ask for patience, your, your patience, you will be putting things to see how much patience you got. Because you can sit up here and say, oh, I got good patience. And today's going to be a good day. And all of a sudden, next thing you know, you get a flat tire. You're late for work. You're getting into it with your boss. Or your kids are working your nerves. They end up missing a bus. It's a, it'll be something. Then you take, your, you know, your patience is being tried. You know, when you ask for strength to get with something, don't ask for that. And <laughs> when you do, all of a sudden, everything is being tested on how much strength you got because strength is all you got to live off of. So, you know, we get put in these crazy situations for us to be able to know what we are truly capable of dealing with. Are we going to deal with the old type of way we've been doing it where nothing's solved? Or are you going to do the positive approach about things and let it go? You know, things are just the way they are. You know, when people come attack you, like I've told y'all before, I can be watching different videos on uh, YouTube or whatever. I had people test my patience with certain things, even though other people have had almost pretty much the same 
you know, opinion like I have, they want to try me. And it's just like, you know, when it got to that point where, okay, why are y'all coming to attack me when other folks have said the same thing, but you want to choose me? I'm the wrong one. So it's just like, before I even give a response, just, you know, a simple response to an idiot like that is just no response at all. I've had people come on my page, you know, come on my channel and try to test me. You have a right to your opinion, but it's just certain things I'm going to, you know, I'm not going to allow on my on my um channel. And there are certain things I am. But it's just like, if I see you're just being straight rude and being an a-hole about it, I'm, I'm just going to, you know, block you and just erase whatever you had put, you know, and just laugh it off. I don't have time. But if you're trying to provoke me or something like that, I'm going to allow you to do that. But then I'm going to have a good response to come back to it and just let you go because it's just like, okay, I try her, you know, because people will try you like that. You're that hey, Oka. So, you know, it's always, I've, I've heard different, you know, times y'all come in, you know, tell me, okay, I'm trying to mirror something out to somebody. They want to attack you because you're doing the truth. You know, at some some people show, you know, their insecurities pops right out. I haven't seen it on my channel, trust me. And I'm just looking like, mm, okay, you know, that is what it is. That, that, that shows more about their character and less about yours. So trust and believe. Know that anytime you're in a crazy situation, there's a bigger picture behind everything that you're going through. So I hope you were able to resonate with this. I hope y'all having a blessed week. Um, like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell. Y'all, I'm noticing that YouTube has been playing with me. They think I know I'm, I'm stupid. Because the more videos I put out, the more of my subscribers they start taking away. Like you trying to play with me. And I, I'm, you know, and it's just like people have been telling me. You know, I've been seeing all these different people subscribing to me, and yet the numbers will stay the same. And I'm like, oh, okay. And then when it comes up, and then I start uploading more videos, the more videos I upload, the more subscribers they take away. So if y'all looking at my videos, pay attention to the subscribers, especially when y'all see a new video come out and go back and see what the subscribers say. And I guarantee you it'll be different from what it was when you first came back. So I'm just like, you know, other subscribers of color, have been going through the same thing like their views has been taken away they they have a whole bunch of views and next thing you know they'll come back like a day or two later it'll be less views than they have and i'm like wow y'all doing that and i'm just they they said you know certain people when it comes to people of color that does youtube they've been do, playing with people's views and playing with my um they did my views like that as well as watch time and subscribers so i'm just like oh, okay but i'm gonna keep on doing what i do you know when things get taken away, you know you get put, replaced with something better. So, you know, like and subscribe. Share the video. Drop me a line and let me know if you, you know, you resonate with this, the content of this video. Drop me a line. I'll go ahead and give you a shout out on my next video. And let me go ahead and give a shout out right now. Let me see. Busse. Alien. The Alien uh, Vegan. Gabriel. Hey, Oka Rumor, and um, Jennifer Foster, much love to you, sending love and blessings and love and light, and know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved, and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. I pray for y'all all the time. So, you know, I'll talk to y'all in my next video. Much love, peace, and be wild.